This episode's called Fierce Battle, and after what happened last episode, I am very excited for every single one of these matches. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 75. Last episode, we had Zerks pop off. I mean, we had him pop off, but he wasn't even popping off, you know? He, he, he Ash magic was what I was, uh, what I was told it was called again. Redirected faster and stronger the guy's magic right back at them and he seems like he's not one that's super friendly or super teamwork based but a lot of people and i mean a lot of people have been commenting that he is their favorite character that he is going to be amazing and i know you guys have good taste so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at that and hope for the best Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here. And don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, Adapter Darius. And we also have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me any art, fan mail, letters, anything like that. Anything and everything is appreciated. All the info for everything is always in the description. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 75, Fierce Battle. Let's do it. I forgot it. It ended with Kirsch. Who people told me is voiced by Hisoka. I can hear it. I can hear it. Also, the ending, uh, we should be getting a new opening here in a couple episodes. The music that plays, I could... You're so narcissistic. I could totally tell why people would have those frustrated lines, you know? <laughs> Unique. That's a that's an interesting way of putting it. So when it's everyone who's not a peasant, he's talking about beauty and elegance. Okay. Okay. Now, I could take some of the other stuff, but his muscles are not ugly. They are not unsightly, Asa. Don't listen to him. I see. Well, whenever someone talks shit like this, we always prove them wrong. Is it because we can go against you if you win? Ask Mimosa right there. Stand up for your mans. <laughs> Creepy. I love how Noelle's our royal translator. She knows all all the royals, all the inns and nobles, you know? The vice captain of the peacocks, the coral peacocks, really? Alright, let's see this. I'm ready to- I just want to see some more magic. I love seeing the magic in the show. Asa's the kind of guy where he may not like you, but he'll work together with you. <laughs> if it has a mutual benefit, he's definitely not one to have a petty little grudge or anything like that. Bust the shit out of that crystal. Okay. So they are... Jakudo magic pursuing jackals? Oh, that's crazy. Shakudo, I wonder what that means. But they are... The king and the wizard king are actually judging them on based on their actions, their strategy, stuff like that. It's not just magic and power, you know? I like how a lot goes into being on these royal knights. Very much like the Chunins exams. Your man is crying. He's actually giving good advice right now, though. He is. 
All right, so Kirsch, interesting character so far. Very narcissistic, very self-indulgent, as one may say. Um, but I do agree with what Klaus was saying because he is the vice captain of the Coral Peacocks due to Dorothy always being asleep. His actual application and magic use is damn top tier, given good advice on Magna. And Magna is, that is very true about Magna. Magna is very special. Not special, but he's very lucky that he has good close and good long range abilities. So he needs to appropriately time them and use them better. I agree. I love me a good training arc. That's what I said this is going to be. So we're just getting mad training all around. Everyone is. I'm down. Ooh. Let's go. Good shit, Magna. Soul. Raging Mother Goddess. Mud binding magic. Lie in ambush, true. Yes. Earth creation magic, very specifically, so I agree. Divided Mother Goddess. Dope, dope, dope. So Kirsch, very weird, very interesting, but gives great magic advice. Water creation. You were already under my Genjutsu the whole time? What's going on? Cherry Blossom magic? Magic Cherry Blossom Storm of Petals plus my beautiful illusion. What the flying fuck? It literally is like a Genjutsu. It's like an illusion over everything. I li I li now it makes sense why he was saying bloom and stuff like that when he has spirit, like, blossom magic, you know, cherry blossom and stuff. Sin is ugly. Being unsightly. Okay, now he has them on their team. I know. <laughs> We're gonna have a good match next episode. So, that also relates to what Kirsch was saying when he was talking to Asta, that no matter, what did he say, no matter how powerful, strong, the vessel in which the amount of magic and mana you can hold is given to you at birth. So no matter how much you work on that, you can never have more chakra, more magic. So it's interesting. So him, obviously royals are more attuned to having blessed magical abilities because it runs in the blood stuff like that you know but i mean he is a royal so it wouldn't make sense but he has an obscene amount of magic that's crazy yeah i mean some powerful spells okay i mean he is a vermilion quite impressive i must say but he's <laughs> but he's still a weirdo that's true i like it for nothing he's been there during some of our craziest fights and with new hair new my man's about to kill the game get langris's ass out here let's fight him <laughs> yeah turn around buddy okay with the quick reactions Ooh, smart. Damn, you got feathered up. Man, easiest match so far. Let's go, Finroll. Hey, man, you were amazing. I haven't seen that since I swear like episode like nine or something. It's been so long. Wow. 
except for spatial destruction magic. You just get over there so quick on that, and then Langris can win it in a heartbeat. <laughs> that magic is so dangerous and so scary, it's crazy. I know that's something to think about because if you don't, he's taken off your leg, taken off half your body. Who was that? Keep talking your shit, Finral. Fuck Langris. Man, oh man, this show, I tell you. Well, I love episodes like this. There's always that first part at the beginning of the tournament arc where it goes through like one or two battles and they're relatively given super good depth and they go crazy. But we need to have our spam montage episode, which was this one. Um, Kirsch, pleasantly surprised with him. Obviously gonna be an elitist scumbag. That's how most of the Royals are, but actually knows his shit when it comes to magic usage in battle which like i said when when given the context that klaus said that he needs to pretty much be the captain of his squad because dorothy's always asleep makes a lot of sense you know the captain of a very esteemed squad and then we have langris who oh my god don't i've said it multiple times that is such an op ability cannot wait for finral to talk his shit and go ham same way same reason why i cannot wait for noel um, to just go ham against solid and just straight go, you know, you guys know what I'm trying to say exactly um, Good fights though. I want to learn more about Zerks the guy on Asta's team I want to learn more about Kirsch. I want to learn more about everyone. Like, I'm just so intrigued so Hyped about these battles so hyped about the power Scaling that it's gonna become because we're all getting power up some really dope I like, hyped about some of the magic we saw we saw a, like a flying fish water creation that was like a scaling fish we saw feathers we saw cherry blossoms we saw the earth creation magic we saw the glass magic we saw so many different things and i know this tournament's only gonna get crazier and crazier and be and go and go and i'm there for it i'm here people saying this arc is amazing i'm about to hop in this next episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like let me know your thoughts i will catch you on this next one peace out Apple squad